So welcome to our presentation on Zoe Rose on Alex and uh, Chad. We're just going to go over the content that we uh, missed last time, sadly. So uh, we start with the strengths. Uh, so this is our SWOT analysis. So we'll start off with um, covering that. So our strengths is our facilities. So we've got three size changing rooms. We've uh, recently redone our changing rooms out. Uh, and painted all the change rooms out we've done, which was done by um, club, men, uh, club members of voluntary, uh, give out their own time, weekends, to do the uh, change rooms out. Uh, car park, uh, we've got a, a car park spot, three size, that's uh, size car park, it fits up. We probably have a whole game, there's plenty of room and space in the car park. So, uh, the pitches, um, uh, on our home grounds, uh, we've got roughly like six foot of sand underneath the main pitch. So when um, if it gets like, heavy rain, it's less likely to flood. So whenever you, you've got games called off, you know when it's heavy rain, you get games called off. Most likely at our club, it will still go on. It doesn't flood as easy as some places might. Uh, got floodlights is. This is not for our main home ground, this is because we also use 3G uh, facilities. <coughs> so floodlights for winter training or pretty much all, all year round we use the floodlight pitches. Uh, the well organised committee. Um, everyone on the committee gives up their own time. They all know what they're doing. So when we're open, if we've got a match day, we're gonna go into the facility and the goals ain't out, the lines ain't done, it'll all be done by like days before, so that's all well organised. Um, many qualified coaches and uh, social media, so we've got Twitter, uh, Facebook in the middle of all website. So most uh, the, all these websites will uh, on game days you have where where it is, where it's down to and stuff like that. Who wants to make that? Uh, week, weaknesses at the moment, we currently have no floodlights at our main ground, which is something we'll be looking into next season to enable us to, instead of using the 3G pitches that we use on midweek at uh, Lake School and sometimes <coughs> Saturdays in the winter when we've got late games at 4 or 5 o'clock kickoffs and we've got to put the floodlights on at Sydney School, um, we can use our own ground to play our even games when the um, light comes down darker and all that. Uh, we currently have no clubhouse. All we have at the moment is just changing rooms and a tuck shop at the moment, which we uh, make a bit of profit from, not on match days, but it's still not quite up to a standard, which we would like yet. Um, we got no teams, players on days are 16, but we have players which are 16, 17, which come and play for us, but don't have a team which is suitable for the rage, so they're more likely to play for the athletic team which are mainly about producing young players to push up to the reserve team first team. Uh, opportunities, um, we hope in the next five years to have a new clubhouse built and also um, more pitches be, to be made available for all our teams to play on. Um, we hope to have floodlights put up in the next year or so and we look to increase our club sponsors as well. So the threats of the club at the moment are not being able to build the, the plans in time. So we're not going to build them in, in time and we're going to, we're going to get the teams, like under 7s to under 16s involved. So if that doesn't come through in time, then we're going to have to wait longer for them to build it. Um, other clubs may need to be more popular. So if we don't, if obviously if the building plans don't go through and we don't build it in time, then other clubs won't be able to rent out our facility. They'll be going to Bridgewater College Academy, using their 3G instead, and over at Chilworth. And other teams, social media is more popular at the moment, so this is a thing that we will have to do more, do more at, so keep our social media a lot more popular and go on more, keep more updates and things like that. Um, our main aim as a club is to uh, manage and maintain the club in an effective and well-organised manner. 
Uh, we aim to do this by um, hosting more fundraising, fundraising, fundraising events at the club. So uh, things like maybe like bubble football, just to uh, make more money for the club. Um, keep social media sites updated, so we don't to uh, lack our social media clubs. As Alex said, it's going to go a bit threat if we stop keeping up to date and other uh, club social media sites progress better than ours. And, uh, and just yeah, keep on improving our facility so as much as we can. Like, we've already, um, like I said, the uh, chain rooms we've already made better and we're looking to progress the main like, whole wide brand pretty much. Uh, yeah, sorry. So the marketing of the club at the moment, we've got obviously three social media pages. It's the main members of the website, the Twitter page and the Facebook page. Like everybody said, we want to keep them up to date and so people are still looking at them. Um, currently, the Bridgewater Town Reserves and Bridgewater Town social media page are quite active at the moment. So if we try and become as active and even more than them, then people are going to be reading our name more on social media and we might possibly want to come and train with us. Uh, the sponsors we have at the moment are Blake Arms and RSL Scaffold Inn. Um, you can also get sponsors, you go to local businesses, you can try and sponsor a player. Um, so say if you play school on the weekend and you get into the uh, Local, mag uh, local magazine or newspaper or something like that, then the club can put um, this place or it's also sponsored by this local business to try and push them as well. Uh, the latest sponsors are uh, Cunho, Tyre and Com uh, County Granite Marble. And Marble. Um, they're our leading sponsors. Uh, we've been under the fund here for the past two seasons with um, the we've sponsorship scheme, which Alex just mentioned about. So, like, going around to local businesses with your parents or people which are affiliated with the club to um, sponsor you for £30, which covers your sign on fee, and also you can use what's remaining to purchase kit as well. Um, on match days, our players pay £10 for subs, but we don't just pay £10 for subs, we do that. Lucky free scheme which enables people to win back money. So, like, um, for you to win on it, you've got to get three cor uh, correct results in the right places. So, if you've got ten game, uh, ten free games and ten chances to guess the correct score in each game, then you've got to match them up accordingly to um, take home uh, the lucky free jackpot. Um, Matches that are played on British Rock Academy 3G come to a cost of £55 a week to use the facility on match days. That's not forgetting as well the cost of the referee. They've got the home team as well. Um, it costs us £60 a week to use Blake's school as well. And if you add that up over a season, it comes to quite a bit. So we'll get a flood, floodlights in at the start of next season, or maybe the season after. It will enable us to save money on cost and use the money to to um, put towards new training equipment and also our stuff surrounding the club. <coughs> we also try and raise as much money as we can during the season, so like fundraisers, race nights, um, open days at the end of the season, so like barbecues and all that, we, um, we welcome everyone to come and join. Um, also what we're looking to do as well when we start our plans for a new clubhouse is to um, a thing called buy a brick, where we um, we'll be looking to like people to buy a brick and have their name engraved in it to then have it built into like our new clubhouse, which we look to build in the next few years. Uh, so our future goals are to increase participation rates for every team, um, to increase the width of the facility by adding more pitches. So that's when we. Uh, our new facility, when we start building that, we're hoping to have uh, some smaller pitches as well as our main pitch for, so we can start doing uh, under 7 to under 16 uh, age groups. Uh, as we've already mentioned, floodlights, we're hoping to get that in the next uh, year or so, a few years. And then um, this, this would also help us save on uh, cost as well, 
could it, um, we would be able to train on a new facility instead of paying for uh, 3G cost, which is cost of, as you said, like 50, 55 pounds a week. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then, oh. and then here's our uh, club contract. So we've got a club chairman contract, uh, a few secretary contact, uh, contract, then club managers. So we've got a few managers who want to contact them. Brands and sorry as well. So, you say you want to get a new section in, but why would kids leave other teams to come to your team? So why are they um, it's more like an affiliation. So at the moment we have Victoria Park Rangers, which are affiliated with us, which use our pitch as well. And they, at New Football Year, you get to a certain age, 16, and you can play up go no, um, no more of that. So you have to look like an under 18s team or something like that. And we're looking to bring back an under 18s team to do. To um, so that like when players from VPR finish their playing days there, they can come and join us, and then we can look to push them on to the athletic team and reserve team the next few seasons by giving them game experience and the end of on Sunday, and then giving them chances and opportunities to play on Saturday with senior members of the team. Yeah, I've got a good question. I uh, might miss it one time. Right. So for your goals, can you just explain to me what your goal is for the first year, second year, and your third year? Um, the first year is to, um, well, floodlights obviously. Yeah. Uh, second year would be the clubhouse, and the third year would be to um, push on with an under-18s team, and then also you look to um, increase revenue by hiring out our clubhouse to people of the village, buses are in the village, or other people around for like functions and stuff like that, or even nurseries as well. Where will the money come from for the Fairlights and the... Um, we look for council funding, like grants, and also for some sort of FA for help, and also um, some, some of the, because um, we're a self-run club, like some members of the club as well will put their hands in their pockets as well to help out and also like fundraisers to like fundraise money to help towards the facilities and us.